Today we're out at the uh, Grand Canyon, just about to start the South Kaibab Trail hike. We're not doing very much, we're just doing down to Cedar Ridge, which is about the least you'd do on um, going, going down the canyon. Should only take us about two and three hours, it's a two to three hours. It's an out and back trail, it's only um, about a mile and a half, two miles out there, but apparently you get some nice views, so here's hoping. This is just now walking down the South Kaibab Trail, still quite near the start. One of the really strange things we've noticed hiking throughout the USA is that Americans seem to have this bizarre concept of personal space that extends a ridiculous far out. Uh, the trail's really quite wide here. There's no problem at all for two people to pass comfortably next to each other, and yet you still get most Americans standing off to the side in an exaggerated manner, you know, giving way, although this was a narrow, tiny little trail. And it's just bizarre coming from London, where as long as you don't really hit someone, then it's fine. If you do touch them, it's not, still not a problem. You can see here just how wide this trail is. And when you get people exaggeratedly standing aside to give way. It's... So just looking down here at some of the switchbacks on South Kaibab Trail. South Kaibab Trail was man-made um, back in 1920s, I think it was. When the park was first bought, there were existing natural trails, but it was too expensive to buy them. So they blasted a whole load of their own trails. So this one, South Kaibob, um, it's also called the Rush to the River because it kind of goes in the most direct way you really can. And it's a pretty constant grade down and up. Um, you can see here one of the squirrels in the area, just basking on the edge of a rock. It's about a thousand feet drop right below him, but he's not bothered by that. So we've now reached the unimaginatively named Ua Point on the South Kaibab Trail. This is uh, only probably about 15 minutes down the trail. It's called Ua Point, I imagine, because you it's a little pinnacle of rock and you can see a, probably something like a 270 degree panorama all around, so it's quite nice. It's quite a long drop below, but it's a very rocky pinnacle, so you're in no danger and it's, you're not hanging over the edge or anything like that, unless you're a squirrel child. All around national parks, um, you still get um, horses and donkeys and mules and things carting things about. This is their duties here. It's not a really big deal on this trail, there's plenty of space to stand aside, so you just stand aside and let them walk by. This is Cedar Ridge. The guides will tell you it takes about two to three hours to do a round trip walk here. It's complete fiction, it'll probably only take you just over an hour if that, if you walk at a reasonable pace. I have to say, I do think Ua Point is better view than here, if you don't even want to come this far to Cedar Ridge. The Grand Canyon National Park has three uh, shuttle services. They all interconnect, so you can always think of it as one big shuttle service. The next shuttle point along from where we got dropped off to do the South Kaibab Trail is Yaki Point. Uh, we got off there and this is the footage from there. I think Yaki Point is nice, but it's not an essential stop if you don't want to do it. Um, yeah, similar view, really, uh, out of all of the stops. And if you've just done the hike, Yaki Point, I wouldn't say is essential. We've now taken the shuttle bus out um, west towards Hermit's Rest. And this is looking out over Hoppy Point. Continuing round, this is Powell Point. If you did come up from Flagstaff, you might want to consider coming in the east entrance and driving up Desert View Road to avoid the big crowds at the main entrance, by the way. This is looking out now towards Mount Trumbull. You can see it on the horizon. That's actually 60 miles to the west, so you can see what good visibility you usually have over the Grand Canyon here. Continuing to walk west here along the south rim, and now you can just see the water down below in the canyon. It's the first time you see it, which is great. This is now at the end of the trail. This is at Hermit's Rest, start the trail there, and this is what you can see from there.